From orbit, the rocks in South Sita were a tempting target for another sample, but also a potentially risky effort for the rover. So better send in the helicopter first. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. Satellite data show that the rocks in Sita are rich in the volcanic mineral olivine, perhaps washed into Lake Jezero from outside the crater or deposited much earlier from explosive eruptions. Either way, they have an important geologic story to tell, so it's worthwhile to try to get a piece. Back on Sol 174, August 15th on Earth, Perseverance had departed the site of its first sampling attempt and was making its way northwest along R2B Ridge in search of better rocks for coring. Meanwhile, the plan was to send Ingenuity on a scouting mission to get a closer look at the rocks of South Sita. This could help show any risky terrain not visible in orbital images and give a preview of which rocks to approach with the rover. I'll use this early image of the ground under Ingenuity as a stand-in for the start of Flight 12. This is the first image from the color camera. Here's a digital model to help understand the shadow. Ingenuity has two carbon fiber blades about 4 feet or 1.2 meters long. That's a solar panel on top for charging the battery. And there are four spindly legs about 19 inches or a half a meter apart. The first image includes the transition from younger terrain outside of Sita to the older terrain inside. Ingenuity tilted upward to get this image, which includes the possible volcano on the rim of Jezero Crater that I presented in episode 5. Also note one of Ingenuity's feet, which is in all of the images. Here are some of the candidate outcrops for possible sampling and more than a quarter of a mile back, or about a half a kilometer, is a blurry view of Perseverance making its way along the ridge. There are some pretty big sand dunes on the left side of the rubbly outcrops. Ingenuity's shadow gives a sense of scale. These are potential sand traps to avoid, but the outcrops can be approached from the front. Some of these rocks have flat surfaces and horizontal features that make them look a bit like layered sedimentary rocks, but as presented in episode 17, volcanic ash deposits on Earth sometimes show features just like these. This was the end of the outbound leg for Ingenuity, but rather than turn around, it flew backward to its starting point, shooting these images along the way, following the same route it took on the way out. Ingenuity came in for a landing on what looks like a sand dune, but the final shot shows some coarse gravel. On Sol 200, September 11th on Earth, Perseverance completed its longest drive yet, nearly 170 meters or about 560 feet. This is the entry point to the outcrops in South Sita. Here's the view from MassCam Z, and here's Mars Guy for scale. These images show even more clearly the flat surfaces and horizontal features that look like layers. But subsequent images from even closer show that the layers may just be horizontal fractures. They've been opened up over time by sandblasting. Here's an amazing example of what this kind of erosion can do. On Sol 204, Perseverance drove up to this stair-stepped outcrop and has now begun the work to collect a new core sample.